Happy Easter, everyone. We celebrate Easter every year because what happened to Jesus is such good news. When we hear good news, we feel like telling everyone. What's the best news you have ever heard? And who did you share it with? Pause the video now so that everyone can share their answers. The good news of Easter is that Jesus is alive again. Everyone can tell that good news. In the church, Easter is more than just a day. It's a whole season. We celebrate Easter for more than one day because Jesus is alive again, and we get to live with God forever. This news about Jesus is so good that we want everyone to have a chance to hear it. Everyone can tell the good news that Jesus is alive again. But how do you know who to tell and how to tell it? Let's check in with our world friends to see how they are choosing to share the good news with Jesus. They are trying to go viral, which means they want a video they are posting online to get thousands or even millions of views. Pause this video now and go find the link in the, to the world video in your email from the church office to find out what they are up to. When you're done watching, come back and restart this video. Gabe and Leo decided to share the good news about Jesus by posting a video about it online. That's kind of like what we're doing right now, trying to talk to people about Jesus using videos because we can't gather together in person. Leo and Gabe certainly used some creative ideas in their video. I thought it was funny when they tried to tell the hamster about Jesus, but I have no idea what they were doing when they were wearing the Abe Lincoln and astronaut costumes. Our World Story Bible also has a special way of telling the good news about Jesus, by sharing the story of the empty tomb with us. I'm going to read it to you now, and you can look at the pictures. Sunday morning. The sun peeked over the trees. The sky was filled with pink and orange light. As soon as Mary Magdalene and her friends woke up, they remembered what had happened two days before. Jesus died on a cross. They wiped tears from their eyes. They missed Jesus so much, but now it was time to anoint Jesus' body. The women walked quietly to the tomb that held Jesus' body. When they arrived, the ground began to shake beneath their feet, an earthquake. Mary and the other women were afraid. They held tightly to each other. Everything became still. The women slowly stepped closer to the tomb. The huge stone was gone. Someone had rolled it away. The women looked into the tomb and gasped. Jesus' body was gone. The women blinked their eyes. Who's that, they wondered. An angel, dressed in dazzling white. Don't be afraid, the angel said. You are looking for Jesus, but he isn't here. Jesus is alive. Go and tell his disciples. Jesus is risen. Could it be true, the women wondered? Mary and her friends rushed to tell the other disciples. Suddenly, Jesus appeared. Greetings, he said. The women reached out to touch him. Jesus, it's you, Mary exclaimed. Her friends jumped and clapped their hands. Jesus smiled at them. Go and tell my disciples, I'm alive. The women raced down the road to share the good news. Jesus is risen. At the beginning of the story, the women were sad because they thought their friend Jesus was dead. But then they were very surprised to find out that he is no longer dead, but has been raised. These women were the first people to hear the good news about Jesus. I bet they ran and told everyone they know about what they saw and heard. Let's have some fun by making our own way to share the good news about Jesus. You'll need some supplies for this part of Jam. But before you go and get them, I'll explain what we're going to do. When I'm done with the instructions, you'll pause this video and go get your supplies. Then you'll pass out a piece of white paper to each person and decide who in your family is going to play which parts in your Easter story play. Someone should be Jesus, someone should be Mary, and someone should be an angel. Your story might also have some more women or perhaps one or two of Jesus' disciples to hear the good news of what the women saw. After everyone has an assignment, they should make a mask to represent their character. Jesus might have a brown beard, and a woman might have a head covering. If you want, you can even cut out 
your masks and add eyes and mouth holes so that you can see each other and speak to each other behind your masks. Here's the mask I made to represent Jesus. When everyone has finished their masks, act out your story. If you record a video of your story, I'd love to see it. You can text it or email it to me. Go ahead and pause here and go grab the supplies you need. You'll definitely need a white piece of paper for each person and some crayons or markers. You can also use scissors if you have them and want to cut out your project. I'll wait here while you go get those things, make your masks, and act out your story. I bet there are a lot of really creative masks out there and lots of great ways to tell the story of the empty tomb. Now I'd like you to take your mask and turn it over. This time, you'll take your crayons or markers and make a mask of yourself. You can use this mask to practice what you'd say to someone who wanted to know about Jesus. Just like Gabe and Leo learned in the video, there is no one good way to share the good news about Jesus. What are the words you'd use to share the good news? Make your masks and practice it now. Great job, everyone. The more we practice sharing the good news, the better we get at it. And the more different and creative ways we use to share, the more people will be able to hear it in ways that make sense to them. Even when we can't go out and talk to people in person, there are lots of ways we can share the good news. By participating in JAM today, you're sharing the good news with your family. You can call people you know to talk to them and wish them a happy Easter today. Even the way we live our lives can be a way to share the good news. By staying home and making some sacrifices of what we want, we are showing how much God loves and cares about people who might get very sick from the germs that we are trying not to pass around. If any of you would like to share the good news with me in a video or picture, I'd love to hear and see it. Let's close our jam today by praying together. Dear God, thank you for giving us the gift of Jesus. Thank you that you love us so much that Jesus was willing to die for us and then be raised again to give us the good news that you are in charge of everything on earth, even death. Help us to tell others the good news that Jesus is alive in as many different ways as we can. Amen. Thanks, everyone. Have a happy Easter, and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.